Hey, how's it going? Well, since something was on my mind, I thought I might as well talk about it. Um, uh, on Facebook, I saw this. Someone had posted that there's that this guy had been arrested at, at an IKEA store for uh, putting, you know, tape arrows on the floor that made it so you it's a never-ending labyrinth, right? Uh, and I had to laugh a little at it, but it also sent me some flashbacks as to the last time I went to the IKEA store in Renton. Um, their old store was all right. I, I could handle it, you know, but, but their, their new one, I mean, just right off the bat, they have an es right at the, the entrance, they have an escalator that goes up, but not one that comes back down. You have to go through a maze to get somewhere to go back down, just right off the bat, right? But their new store, there aren't really any shortcuts you can take to get anywhere. I mean, maybe if you've been there enough times, like you've been there 20 or 30 times, you might finally get some of the idea that, yeah, you can go like this and this and get to this spot. But their map, their map displays their store as a, as a straight line. I'm sorry, guys, you cannot turn a maze into a straight line. That's bullshit. Okay, their stores are the ultimate in this thing of no, you can't come, you can't go here to just get what you came here for. It's it's like the the ultimate in smearing ads in your face. It's it. It's the it's it's the very heart of why online shopping is is so popular versus this kind of shit. It's 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 just like why would you do this to people? Okay. Now, you know, I'm on I'm on olanzapine and it helps with with many of the issues that I that I have and the things that I'm on disability for. And that IKEA store, their, their new one, sent me in a, into a complete f uh, fight or flight response. And I'm embarrassed about it, but it did it because the and the more the longer I was there, the worse it was getting. Um, I had to get I I had to get help from several employees, which I was very thankful that they had some some employees that that I guess they've dealt with that this sort of thing before, which is kind of scary. IKEA, are you like I I just wonder if they're they're just testing the public to see whether someone's going to completely go off the deep end sometime. You know, I, I literally wouldn't be surprised if someone went on a shooting spree in a, in, a, in an IKEA. You know, um, but uh, yeah, I how can they how can they think that it's cool to do this to people? Um, I like I said the old store was was doable. You know, they had a map that made sense. You could do shortcuts. You could come there to, to, to get just what you want and not have to spend 45 minutes. You know, their new layout, they want you to spend as much time as possible in the store so you may buy more things. And I just think it's rotten. I, 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 if, if I need anything from Ikea and it's not something that I can get in the warehouse section, I'll order it online, you know. If it's something that's in the warehouse section, at least that has a bit of rhyme and reason to it, you know. If you know where the location is for the things that you want to get, you know, you could use their app or something like that. Find the location uh, in the warehouse section and just get it that way. Hey, that, that can work. But if it's anything that you have to go to the other part of the store, it's just not fucking worth it. Not, I, I, at least I, I can't handle it. Um... God, at one point I was I was frantically, literally running through the store, running. How do I get back to this spot? How do I get back to to you know? I just want out now. Let me out, please. Let me out. And it was just a maze. It just ah uh, ah. Uh. God, how how just. How did they ever think that was a good idea? Anyway. <laughs> 